Kitchen right now. Pat, let me hear your best Michael Jackson really quick. Hee hee. Hee hee. Not bad. All right. Michael Jackson impersonations. You guys interested in trying it? Uh, no. No? No. No, not I've today. I've been Zito can dance like We're Michael very, Jackson. We're very respectful today. It's Veterans Day and uh, okay. all the great men and women that serve this country. We're, I'm on low, I'm on good behavior today. You are. Okay. Yes. All right. Low yeah. octane Joe yes. Zito. Just the way exactly. we like him. All right, boys. Uh, we're going to have uh, a Yankee pot roast this yeah, morning, we're right? Do, we're doing a New England and Americana favorite. We're doing... Um, Yankee pot roast. Basically, we, we. I just want to touch upon the the meat right away because uh, people are afraid of Yankee of the pot roast in general because they're afraid of the secondary cuts of meat, which take a long time to cook. And that's the whole point. You have to make sure that you take a long time cooking them, and then they just it's it's very, you know, time consuming. But you don't really have to do anything. It's the oven doing all the work. So. Uh, pot roast is, you don't want to rush your pot roast. You, you don't want to rush it because if marinate. you do, you're going to be very it's disappointed. Also, all the great the things you put in with it, too. Right. So. We, have, we have turnips. We have parsnips. We have carrots. We have pearl onions. We have some, some tiny t uh, potatoes. And then we're going to make a sauce, and I'm going to show you how to do that in the next segment. Um, and the whole idea is to cook it for a long time and not be afraid. It's a Yankee pot roast, but not a New York Yankee. Oh, you All right, there, I told right. you. Now that's it. Now the gloves have been. <laughs> oh, back to normal. Off. Is that what's going to happen oh, now? Okay. All right, boys. It's always great to see you. I see you've decorated for us this morning. That's Absolutely. great. Zito's going to be on his best behavior. That's always important. Wonderful we can't guarantee wine. that's going to continue set. throughout the whole hour, but hopefully it does. You can find the recipe and ingredients online, as always, at foxprovidence.com. Let's get a check on weather now. Send it over to Michelle Muscatello. Into the kitchen, Patrick, what's going on? <sighs> Chef John Granada, Joe Zito here this morning, firing up a Yankee pot roast. One of these bananas. Oh, Zito is actually, I'll say this about Zito, he's having a great hair day today. Day. What is it? How about his hair today? His hair is Good hair phenomenal. Day Luxurious for a man my age. Can we move on to the show? What are you eating? I thought it was a banana. What, what is, is it? it? It's a pasta. Yeah, it sucks. All right, you're going to uh, rub the beef. We're gonna. What we want to do is we want to talk about quickly, we want to talk about... Uh, secondary cuts of, of beef. All right, this recipe, Yankee pot roast, usually done with chuck, or uh, this in, is a brisket, or we can also use flank or any secondary cut of meat. The whole point is to cook these long enough and cut along the grain, and it will just fall apart. I mean, it's beautiful meat. So what you want to do is you want to take it and you want to liberally salt and pepper. Yeah, pay attention, Pat. I am. I, 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 I had a roommate in New Hampshire when I first broke into the TV business back in the early 90s, and every Sunday he would put together a pot roast because we'd want to eat that and have a few adult beverages and watch uh, football on Sundays. He would actually start it on Saturday night. Oh, yeah, you could you do know, that. And then sure. he would, well, uh, a crock pot, if, if you were doing a crock pot, you could do this in the morning or the night before, yeah. get it ready, turn it on in the morning, and walk away, go to work, come back, and we So done. we're going to do it this now. Salt right. and pepper. What, what you want to do is you want to sear it. You want to sear it in the pan. You want to brown both, both sides of, of this. Okay. All right, normally this would be a little hotter, but uh, you want to you get this nice and brown on both sides. You're going to take it out. And then the vegetables go in, right? We have carrots, we have parsnips, we have turnips, we have pearl onions, yeah. uh, celery, and you can use anything you want. And, and what you want to do is you want to save the potatoes to the last hour of cooking because if not, they'll be mush. Potatoes last for right. last hour. Right. So what you do is you remove the meat, brown the, brown the vegetables. Okay. And then what you do is you deglaze with the red wine, which we're going to show you in the last segment. You're okay. gonna, actually going to have you do it. All right. We're going to deglaze with the red wine. <laughs> Don't get afraid. All right. We're going to add the spice, a little tomato paste, and then we're going to use some beef stock or demi glace. Which, if you're lucky enough to have demi glace, that would be perfect. If not, you can use a beef stock. And at the end of the process, what you're going to do is you're going to thicken it up with a little slurry of flour and water. It's very easy. Wow. I mean, it sounds like a lot. Yeah, it does. But, but, it, but it's really very easy. You'll simplify it for us. Zito will break out the vino at Wonderful the end. Wonderful American yeah. vino. All right, we'll do that. And we'll uh, put the Yankee pot roast together. Find the recipe ingredients online, as always, at foxprovidence.com. Back to you. Benjamin is already stalking our meal today. He's yes. off camera oh. uh, just a, just a bit, and he was just <laughs> singing your praises, Joe. Well, you know what? Then let him stay. Okay, okay? fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, he is. said what a classy guy you are. I said he could learn a thing or two. All right, so what are we doing in here this okay, morning? Okay, last segment, what we do is we, we seared the meat and we browned it up. Okay. Right Now what we want to do is just throw all those vegetables right in Now here. we have some radishes and some carrots. <laughs> That's right? pos carrots and pasta. Carrots and pasta. Well, I thought they were bananas. Still, I don't still worry. don't know what the heck I'm yeah. doing they in this like bananas. Right in Parsnip. There. there you go. Nice so, sizzle. Wait, where are the radishes? <laughs> this, uh, um, Just kind of roughly chopped in Joe's here. Pocket. And of course, <laughs> this is beautiful American comfort food for our veterans. Some so. turnips in there. Turnips! That's, there we go. That's the unusual. Yeah, pearl onions and, and celery. Throw that right All in right, there. All right, here oh, we go. The sizzle. 
Usually I think Joe has these in his martini. Yeah, we sell the sizzle and the pot roast. Oh, okay. And you know, when you put onions in a martini, you know what that makes it. What does it make A it? Gibson. Ah. See, you learn something every day. See? Know? Ben goes, I knew that. So basically what you want to do is you want to brown all these vegetables up, right? We want to add a little salt and pepper. It's pepper. Fresh thyme. Which smells so good when it's nice and fresh. And... Yeah, this is a this is a great smell of vision dish. It and is. I know this is an American hey, dish, but I like to throw some garlic in there. Off. So we throw a couple of cloves of garlic. Joe's just downstairs getting his microphone. Live television. Couple of cloves of gar garlic. Yep, and that's a little bit of the red wine that Joe brought us. Okay. Yeah, go right in there. Tell me about this red wine. Uh, well, I will tell you that this is a wine alert. This is a phenomenal red wine, Napa Valley Cabernet from Sean Miner. This is a six-year-old winery. He opened it with his wife. It's called the Four Bears Winery. They named it in, in honor of their four children, and this is a lush, delicious Cabernet Sauvignon for $16. Nice and smooth. A, a, absolutely available at Gasparro's on Federal Hill, my friend Mark. And this is a wine. I want you to remember this uh, gentleman's name because mm -hmm. he is an up-and-comer. This wine, to me, is as good as things that are three times the price. You know what's interesting is I just got a whiff of that wine as it came off of uh, yeah, the pot. It's phenomenal. It smells really good. Okay, yeah. and, and we're not even close so, to being done. Sean Miner. Sean Miner. Okay. Thanks, Joe. Fantastic. Now, what are you adding? Uh, what are you adding now, John? I added some uh, beef stock to it, or okay. demi gloss. If you're lucky enough to have demi gloss, use a demi gloss. Okay, that if kind not, of thickens it faster, or uh, it just gives it a little more uh, thickness and richness. To I it. don't actually know what I'm talking about in the kitchen. But so you, you go sounded, ahead and you sounded like <laughs> which is <laughs> sounds which great. Isn't that the trick? Which is of it? all that really counts, I guess. All right, so now what? Meat goes back into the sauce. Really? I want to try to submerge it under the sauce. Okay? Not for the vegetarian, but. Still right, quite delicious. It was up until then. Yep. You hear the you hear the terminology of braising. Yes. That's what this is all about is braising. You're gonna you're gonna break this down so the connective tissues just just pull apart like an elastic band would like and butter. just pop. And then the meat will fall down and it'll be the best pot roast you ever so had. So you can just leave it right on top, that slab of beef. You you rather submerge it, but this pot's a little too small gotcha. for me. But okay. what you wanna do is you wanna submerge it, you wanna stick it in the oven. Okay. Two to two and a half hours covered. All right, we're gonna we're gonna put a cover on that. We're gonna go two and a half to three hours, probably on a five to six pound piece of meat. By the way, usually the only cup pizza, pieces of meat in here are you. Now the magic oh, of oh. television, ladies and gentlemen. Voila! Voila. Oh yeah. That looks so yeah, good. You, 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 yeah, you know what's funny is Patrick has now joined us in the kitchen, <laughs> and these two guys are. Uh, very interested in what you're cooking this morning. They look like hyenas, you know, <laughs> just through the shows. They just <laughs> Look, the seagulls they went away. Now, as you plate that up for me, mm -hmm. boys, <laughs> um, Joe, tell me what you got going on on this. Well, show. I'm going to tell you what quick bites this Sunday morning, which I love doing quick bites because you get a little of the backstory. I'm with Steve Diossi, one of the owners of Fred and Steve's Steakhouse, mm -hmm. and we had a lot of fun. And I want to remind the viewers that on the 21st of this month, my three beautiful holiday editions premiere uh -huh. and run through December 26th. If you have anything on your list regarding dining, we will cover all the bases. I've got about 40 restaurants and all kinds of air times, and you'll really be tired of looking at me uh, by after Christmas. But it's, re it's really great because a lot of times <coughs> the holidays for some people mean that things are a little extra stressful, and if you can alleviate that by having some extra Gift certificates, or, dining, yes. catering, the whole deal, it's all there for you premiering on the 21st. So thank you for mentioning that. Oh, my God. Gosh. Isn't that so you see, how, you see how tender that comes I mean, out? I didn't, you, you, Joe brought up a good point uh, off camera. He was, he was talking about sometimes pot roast can become dry. Mm, and and what happens in that case is that the, all the moisture comes out, and people tend to take the, the pot roast and put it on the table. What you want to do is you want to cut it and reintroduce it to the sauce, uh -huh, and then what happens the is juices. it rehydrates. So, I so love that great that's the whole That's the whole technique. Hey, thanks roast. for being here this morning. This Absolutely. is all well, American always one, All right, guys, pleasure. get in here. Does Michelle, Michelle get pot roast? She does get pot roast, and as soon as she's done with the forecast, I'm going to have her come in here, too. But in the meantime, <laughs> we're getting the boys fed. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Michelle, over to you.